Hello, my beautiful Scorpios. I am Rita Wilson here to do your reading. Uh, if you hear humming in the background, I have to put the fan on. It is stinking hot here and I'm tired. I'm close to the equator, so I'm stinking hot, so you're going to hear the fan. I'm so sorry, but I, I sweat it so much in these readings as is. But these are your June predictions. We're going to take a look at your reading in regards to finances, money, all of that stuff. And then we'll look at some uh, health, um, sorry, in regards to uh, Twin Flame and Soulmate and Love. And uh, let's get started. So if you are new, welcome to my channel. Um, if you guys don't know, I just recently moved from Toronto to Guyana, South America. So I'm in close to the equator, rainforest country. So uh, let's take a look here. What is going on for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? And just so you know, guys, I am opened up for readings for June. I don't usually open up readings, but um, I'm giving uh, half-hour readings and one-hour readings. If you are interested, email me down below, okay? Because it's not available on my website, all right? What is going on for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What is going on for Scorpios, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and... Your North Node, guys. Take a look at your North, North Node. Wow, Scorpio, you've been going through some transformation here. Um, you've gone through some very deep sadness is what I'm getting here. If you see these cards here. Um, you're receiving healing from your ancestors and from spirit. I feel like you're releasing something that's very he heavy, some very burdensome. There's also um, realizing what divine feminine energy really is, okay, and birthing. If you ever know, Scorpio, um, if you've ever had babies and, and what you know is, I, I know if, and especially if you haven't had quite a natural birth, and this is nothing against women who haven't had a birth without medication or c-section it's just the way that our system is when we birth naturally you have to really release and relax and trust the body to do what it's meant to do and honor the creation of how our bodies are able to do this and you're starting to have an awakening into the surrender mode of what divine feminine energy is really all about i feel that you are being called into a higher plane of being into a place of divine feminine energy which is um, not attachment um, it isn't about suffering. Um, it, it's hard to birth. It is hard to birth. And your sign is like the phoenix, right? It's about rising and, and endings and new beginnings. And unfortunately, when this happens, it's, it's for, you know, our best enlightenment. That's why she has all of these new rays of sunlight coming in. So Spirit is saying your ancestors are really with you. I feel like this is um, June is going to be a month of finding yourself again. I feel that uh, you were lost here in the dark. Do you see this? And now you're finding yourself again. Um, what else for Scorpio, please? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Oh, yeah, look at this. You definitely are releasing a lot of darkness from your life. You really are opening up this crown chakra and releasing a lot of darkness um, and starting to... to I think you're seeing something here. You're seeing like she's looking at a new path or a new something is starting to emerge. It could be um, I feel like there's somebody new coming in for you or a new vibration. I feel this is a person that's something that you weren't able to see. I feel like one person's dissolving and another person is taking form. And this is happening. You're going through massive transformation in order to release this darkness now this could be love we're going to take a look at love as well but it could also be a representation of your life of what you thought your life was and it's dissolving and something else is being reborn you're setting up some very healthy boundaries with yourself you're very wounded at this time she's got a lot of blood on her she's very wounded she's setting her boundaries you're learning to take care of yourself yourself scorpio you're learning um if i want to create and be in divine feminine energy i need to be um very honorable about the work that this takes to get to this point and i and i feel scorpio um you're hitting a new path as well this is a lot of transformation i mean we have this uh super moon thing that's going on tonight and um it's definitely transformational on a really big level. I'm getting pulled to these cards. Let's see what, what else is coming up for Scorpio. Financial and foundation. I feel that you may be worried about finances and whatnot, but I feel that you're okay. I feel like you're stable enough. It's not like... Um, it's nothing spectacular. Like I feel like you want more. I feel like you want to move into your calling. I feel like you want to create more. But I don't feel the means are quite there yet. Spirit is saying, you know, just hold back on certain things. You're okay right now because you're in a very deep transitional place. 
um, in order to birth uh, the new path that you're looking for, okay? That you have to do some more releasing. And I feel that that's coming with this full moon that's happening tonight. I'm not entirely sure what's happening tonight. I don't know. I haven't been following the astrology lately. I'm just kind of flowing in my own essence, which is where I'm guided. So let's see what else is coming up for Scorpio. I feel like there's... um. Definitely new opportunities coming. I feel like you may have already um, been sensing this in the energies that new opportunities coming. What's coming up for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in regards to foundation? Let's see here. Yeah, you've gone into your cave here, and, and rightfully, rightfully so, Scorpio. You need sometimes to come into your own cave. So coming in June, it's like you're, you're gathering your resources again. You're you're making your plans. You're um, learning, um, or journaling what's happened, what worked for you in the past, what's going to work for you in the future. I feel that this is a completely new way of living and being, and it wasn't something that you expected. I feel like something shocking has happened that you're like, whoa. Did I just get fired from my job? Like, whoa, did that person just break up with me? Whoa, did my friend just completely betray me? Something shocking has happened. And you're looking at it like you've had to retreat. And you're like, okay, that, how, you're seeing patterns in your life. Thank you, Spirit. You, I'm seeing that you're, you're, you're writing things down. You're like, okay, why am I stuck in a cycle? I think you're realizing a huge cycle in your life, Scorpio. Yeah, look at this. The wind has activated you. You're going through a massive activation. Wow. Into pure divine feminine energy. Okay. I feel you're leaving distorted feminine energy. I feel you're recognizing where you've been trapped. Okay. So this is what's coming up. This has been happening a lot in my life lately. My son sees spirits and there's been an attack. I, don't, I wasn't going to bring this up, but there's been an attack on my, on my children and it's from my dad's lineage side. My dad's side is very psychic as well as my mother. I picked a lineage that has massive psychic gifts um, on both sides. And Lilith is not a goddess to be messed with. <laughs> She's not even a goddess, okay? She's very dark. And it's it runs a lot of our um, New Age community when people talk to Lilith. It's not... It's not a good thing. I'm going to be honest. Okay. I feel this energy of Lilith. Um, it's succubus energy. It's darker energy. I feel that you're looking at things either in patterns in regards to, you may want to look up Lilith. Okay. Um, of where you've been doing certain patterns or something that's been siphoning your, your divine feminine energy. Um, and I think you're noticing that. I feel like you've been taken advantage a lot, a lot of, I feel like your heart is in a good place. You go with good intention, but there's something you're missing. And I think it's going to be revealed to you because this is the iceberg came up. It's like something was, has been suppressed. You're starting to hit a new awakening, a new um, coming into divine feminine. I keep hearing that you're coming into real divine feminine energy. And this is going to take time and massive transformation. Spirit is saying that this is going to be your path to learn the ways of the ancient gurus, the ancient teachers of the temples of Sumerian times is what they're bringing up in regards to goddess energy, real goddess energy, not the new age stuff, right? Stuff before religions came about, the temple goddesses. Um, you may want to look into some of that because, I mean, I do a lot of history and, and stuff like that. And I'm trying to figure out our, our real history before, um, you know, man took over. There's something that was submerged in your lineage with feminine energy um, that you're healing. You're healing. There's a lot of feminine around you. I feel that you're healing the feminine qualities that you were taught. You're like, because I see you in your cave going, this is not working for me. Something is still not working. Where have I keep hitting this block? Why do I keep hitting this block? I'm going to pull some island time because I'm feeling it's around love a lot. I feel it's an amalgamation of foundation, love. You may have had to go through a divorce. Okay, a friend may have betrayed you in the workplace, a partnership I'm seeing for some of you as well may have taken the money or may have partnered up with somebody else. Um, I'm seeing a lot of betrayal here, but it's actually pushed you into a new path of finding your greatest self, Scorpio. This is really beautiful. Spirit doesn't want you to sit um, in this dark place. They want you to realize you're really, you're gaining a lot of... Um, support from the from the other realms to push you into birthing your your truest self okay and they're really really saying just keep releasing because it's bringing in something brand new for you look at that i love how this crown chakra is just um releasing but let's see for scorpio please what is this about what has been submerged what is what is this um 
the old patterning. Let's get a card for the old patterning. And I'm really close to these cards for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What is the old patterns in regard? And I feel it's like how you relate. Spirit is bringing up this isn't everything because it's how you relate. It's how you relate to money, how you relate to uh, your foundation, how you relate to your work, how you relate to love, how you relate to your family, your children. There's a, a it's, an, it's one aspect of relating is what I'm getting. So what is that pattern, Spirit, for Scorpio? It's the past, reminiscing too much in the past, okay? It's keeping past. So when you go into the past energy, it keeps you in a place of depression. If you look too far ahead in the future and over plan, you get into a place of anxiety. The present is a gift. That's how we work to stay present. So I'm feeling like being still in your life is very important right now to find your relationship with God in a really big way. This is going to, um, this is a soulmate, an engagement, a partnership, and the past that you may be reminiscing about. So it's definitely a partnership. Um, what's happened here, Spirit? I think a partnership may have ended is what I'm getting. Yeah, you're healing. Someone's run away because of an addiction. So Scorpio, yeah, that's what I'm getting. I feel like you may have ended a very long-term relationship or uh, somebody has left and has run from a connection. Um you're healing and it's affected a lot of different things in your life. It was codependent. What I'm getting is there's, there's, um, whatever is meant for you will be for you. I feel that something else is definitely coming, but this was very much a, a catalytic type of connection or a stepping stone soulmate, or, um, if it is a twin flame, then it's also a catalytic, whatever it is, it's, it's catalyzing you into, um, something higher up that God wants for you. So spirit doesn't want you to sit in the past with this any longer, even, and I know, I, I know it's affecting everything. So you're really on a deep healing journey here. I think it's going to continue in June, but they're saying by September, I'm getting a message for you by September. You're going to see a lot of um, new growth and prosperity. You're going to be like, wow, I'm actually glad that I didn't pursue this, this person or this lifestyle or this way of living really wasn't for me. And this is pushing you into your true counterpart, into the twin flame journey of, of healing or into meeting your real uh, twin flame or meeting a high level soulmate and something in regards to, they want you to focus more on your gifts and you, you have a lot of gifts here, but they haven't been tapped into. You haven't birthed your abilities yet. Okay, they want you to see beyond your humanness, right? You're, you're a celestial being. I feel you may be trapped into the physical labor of birth and having to do everything from the human sense. It's a very suffering way of looking at it. Spirit doesn't want you to look at that anymore. That's why you have a lot of people around you. And so Spirit is saying, I want you to look beyond your humanness. I want you to see how powerful intuition and mysticism is and how powerful your sensitivity can be. They want you to use your, your sensitivity for good, not evil, right? I feel that you tend to um, overgive as well. Let's see what, what's happening here for Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Spirit wants you to give to yourself. That's what you're learning here. It's to break this feminine aspect quality to hit um, divine feminine energy. Let's see what else is going on for Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. So there's been some truth that's come out here, Scorpio. You've been going round and round about a mending of bridges. I feel like you want to reconcile with this person. We have two sevens coming out, 25 and 52. Could be a twin flame connection or a high level soulmate, but you've been going round and round and round. Either this person left you to mend with a twin flame and and this is what I'm getting for some, and I'm sorry about that, you know, being um, the third party or the karmic or the stepping stone is very difficult. That's for some of you. For others, it is your twin flame and um, you want to mend this with them. But seven seven is a very spiritual number. Um, there, you've been going around and around. Like, do I walk back to this person? Do I not? Um, or they left me for somebody else, and I can't believe this is actually happening. But there's been a lot of truth. A mask has been revealed and revealed. And this is a the hearts are coming out of this owl. You get you will gain a lot of wisdom out of this. Okay, there's a lot of wisdom coming out of this um, because some truth has been told. What about specifically for finances and foundation spirit? For Scorpio. Ah, you're going to be happy. I feel things are good. I don't feel you're like on the brink of poverty or anything like that. Maybe, I mean, I don't feel that. I feel like it's like 
there was a, an amount of uh, prospects that could have been, and I feel there was some disappointment that nothing really got off the ground. And Spirit is saying, don't worry, you're going to be very happy with your finances and your money in June. You're going to have to find a foundation. But in regards to love, um, well, we'll get into love in a minute. Let's take a look and see, pull some tarot on this, okay? There's definitely, I feel, a, a partnership that's ended, but I don't feel it's for you, Scorpio, right now. Um, you gotta enter this, this divine feminine energy, okay? Um, the Empress energy, and there's a lot of work, uh, to be a divine feminine. Um, it's to be like the earth and how the get, and the earth isn't, isn't a doormat. She, she still erupts and has, you know, a lot of people think feminine energy is just over giving, we just give, but that, that's not true. <laughs> the, the earth in her own time, nature will create volcanoes, will create earthquakes. She, she creates changes when things aren't good for her so spirit wants you to recognize that too that it's i feel you're a very giving person but you put yourself on the back burner for that and that's not divine feminine energy you have to release this now a lot of feminines go through this distortion this is why lilith was coming up so i want you to look at that and heal the patterns that lilith brings forward because she's not she's not the correct goddess energy okay um Earth is your best example of what true divine feminine is. What is going on for Scorpio, please? Oh, yeah. See, the two of cups came up. You want it. it There's a lot of competition that was happening here. Something has ended in a relationship. The three of cups could have been a third party situation, okay? But something has ended here um, in a relationship and, um, it's left you very, um, in a very, uh, place, a uh, dark place where you're not able to even act in your own life. Like you want to win at this. You really want to win. I feel like there's like, you wanted this so badly, but it just didn't happen. Clarify the six of wands. You want victory in your life. And you're not offering your cup because you want to win in your life. So there is definitely, and nothing was being offered to you. And clarify this two of cups with the three of cups in reverse. Like a lot of events have been canceled, celebration, yeah, uh, emperor in reverse, okay? That he, uh, letting go of control of this relationship, having your strength. Okay, look at this. This definitely is karmic justice, the wheel in reverse. This is about a twin flame journey because we have the justice and the empress in reverse. So if somebody left you for somebody else who says, claims that that was their twin flame, all right, you're going through the brunt of it, my loves, okay? Um, we have a divine masculine here in a relationship that you have to hold strength. The wheel in reverse, it wasn't a good situation for you. It was a ring of bad luck. Um, it wasn't was moving, okay, in the right direction. And you can't offer to this anymore. It's left you very upset. And, and there's a lot of justice here that's coming for you, okay? This is an empress. This is for you to come into your empress. And if this is your twin and, and you have solid affirmation from spirit that this is your path, not in an attached way, right? In a divine feminine way. You'll know when you... It's like meeting God for the first time, right? Spirit is saying... Um, if this is your person, you know, you have to hold strength in this for the karmic justice to come back if they ran away with somebody who's a karmic partner, um, and to do this healing work now. And it's not, I'm going to tell you the twin flame journey is not, it's not a journey to be messed with. It is the hardest path you will ever have to go through, but there's justice that's happened here. What is this karmic justice for Scorpio? And justice will come to you too. You will win at, at, at your own life. Okay. It just may not be the path right now. Um, because spirit is getting you to birth into this beautiful, and you're coming into such potent energy, Scorpio. It's really a good thing, okay? It's this justice. Clarify this justice for Scorpio. Yeah, look, a resurrection of yourself. Uh, the judgment. You're going to have a renewal for yourself, a rebirth for yourself. Just, uh, and this two of cups clarify a little bit more. Um, yeah, I know you've been juggling it back and forth. Spirit doesn't, says, and you're going round and round about it. Spirit is saying you are going to have a renewal out of this decision, okay? Um, work hard on your victory and success. I just clarified the six of wands. Focus on what you desire. Don't put it to a person. Don't put it to a mission. Put it really on yourself here, Scorpio. I feel like you're, I'm going to label this, you know, you're coming into divine feminine energy for sure. Um, it's a, it's definitely an ancient wisdom that a lot of people don't gain that access to, but to get into that, 
you have to, <laughs> I'm telling you, you have to kind of go through the brunt of it. Let's see what else is coming up for Scorpio, please. And then we'll pull for love. What is going on for, even though it's been a lot about love, it came up right away, but um, your foundation looks really good. I, I feel you'll be, I feel you're being supported in your foundation. I don't think there's going to be massive shifts. Everything's good. It's kosher um, until, you know, you can come into the divine feminine to manifest your truest calling here. Um, you've got to get through this um, iceberg. There's a massive block. I'm feeling mother energy too. There may still be some healing with your mother uh, that you need to do or the women in your in your lineage as well. There's something about the ancestors coming through with that too. Let's see what um, what else for Scorpio before we pray for love. What else for Scorpio? Sun and rising and Venus, please, in regards to um, not love and foundation and finances, please, Spirit. In June, what is happening? Yeah, you're planting the seeds, you're manifesting dreams here, okay? So Spirit is like, my dreams are coming true. So this is like a harvest. So Things will start to manifest financially and stable wise coming in June. You may be some investments that you made. You may be able to reap the benefits of that coming in June. Um, you may be able to finally get a renter for your room and you're making extra cash that way or something will present itself to show that you're ready to harvest certain things. Okay. Um, proceed softly on your new path. My inner power grows in moments of quietude. So yeah, spirit really wants you to look at where you want to harvest. Okay. Um, and what your dreams are like and how to proceed softly with that, that this is going to be completely different. Um, as I was saying, remember I said September, remember I said that I felt September, you're going to be able to harvest something and look, something better is coming for you. Come September, you have to take the summer months to just kind of like, then look at this as summer, right? Spring and summer, <laughs> just, just be easy with yourself over the next few months and autumn, you'll be able to reap a lot of benefits. So you're in a really deep place of tapping into deeper healing and into divine feminine energy and walking through that. And by August, I mean, by September, I feel the autumn, there's definitely something that's going to come forward for you. So spirit wants you to, and especially with the money and your foundation, let's take a look at your love life here. Cause I know that this partnership has been very difficult for you, but something new, Stay hopeful. I feel like Spirit's bringing you something really abundant coming in, in the fall. I really felt that. I love when, when Spirit validates like that. Let's take a look, Scorpio. What's going on for you in love? What is going on for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in love for June, please. What is going on for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in June, please. What is going on for Scorpio? Phew! What is going on for Scorpio? In love, please. Specifically in love for June. Mm. Well, it came up upside down. I don't usually take them, but I swear to tell I need to take this one as it comes out. So let's get one more. Can we get one more, please? Thank you. I'm going to take them as they come up. I don't usually. So something ended. We have a promise, a marriage, a commitment, the covenant, right? Something did end here. Um, and I'm seeing that it was very hurtful and very painful. Spirit wants you to realize that, um, it's a 10. It's, it, it's, um, an end of a cycle. You've done amazing. Okay. At digging deeper into yourself, whatever this was, it really forced you to find your true feminine energy. I'm really seeing that. And, um, it was definitely a spiritual awakening here to push you into, this beautiful rebirth, Scorpio. Look at this. this is you walking. Look at this. You're, you're turning your back on what doesn't serve you right. And you're looking to God and you're realizing, and it's like this renewal card. Look at this. You want to see synchronicities? Look at this. My tarot deck that I made, right, of God coming through of spirit, the light. Look at this. It's like in the sky. This is a complete, this is from made for love. Okay, this is not even my deck. This is my deck. This is made for love. Look at this. Look at that renewal that is happening for you beautiful you just got to take the time for yourself okay as you're healing and look you're having a rebirth and this is amazing because you know a lotus flower has to go through some very dark energies before it can fully come into their own knowing so this is definitely something that is um really pushing you into a, a very very beautiful space within yourself in love okay and i feel like um 
a new love will definitely show up for you if this isn't your person, if this isn't who God made you for. Okay, but it'll push you into a high level flame or twin flame. And if it's your twin flame, then something will happen come come September is what by the fall season that you will realize uh, why your twin had to go in another direction for, for those of you if this is your twin, okay? So this is just the time to rebirth yourself into this energy. What is going on for Scorpio? I love these spirits. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and North Node, please. Wow. You're getting called up into the warrior woman. Have you answered your deepest calling? Have you, Scorpio? The truth. She's holding that sort of truth. You are a warrior. If you're going to be a warrior woman, I'm telling you, it's not easy. Okay, I do moon dances, right? You don't eat for four days. You do eight ton of skulls in four days with a sweat lodge and you dance all night. It's hard work, okay? A lot of people can't do it. To come into deep warrior woman, you got to dig so deep without any type of physical attachment. And that's what spirit is like asking you, be honest with yourself. Is this your truest, highest calling? Can you dig deeper? What is it that you truly want to bring to the table to help the new earth? You are really being asked to be called up. It's really beautiful into a new place of renewal. All right, let's see what final messages are for you. Take the time to rest, Scorpio. Let's see some final messages for you from Spirit and what um, animal is coming through for you. This one went a little bit long, but I feel you needed it, Scorpio. I know it's hard to come into these kinds of new energies. It takes a deep uh, digging that a lot of people don't get, right? And... Um, it definitely catalyzed you into your greatest into coming to your greatest self. This will be the one aspect. Uh, Spirit is saying a jumping off point. You know, we all look back on the spiritual path. I remember when Spirit broke me completely, where I had to like go back to family to help me. Um, you know, I was humbled so deeply that I had to heal my family. I didn't want to. <laughs> I was so in my head about my money and all of that. Um, and eventually I had to sell my house and do everything, but it's like you become so broken down that spirit forces you um, into your greatest calling. And now when I look back at that point, that was my leveraging point. That was the point where I, I was like, wow, I needed that as painful as it was. And I feel like that's your, this is your leveraging point. So please use it as that, okay? What final messages do you have for Scorpio, please, for June? The bear. Aww. Be the mama bear. The bear is beautiful and highly protective. And just know that this partnership brought you a lot of illumination. Um, the bears are, you know, a lonely species. They, they need solitude. They need time on their own. And if anything, this is showing you how to come more into yourself and be that mama bear and be that protective energy for yourself. It brought a lot of illumination, okay? It brought a deep... Um, knowing within yourself of how to transcend certain aspects of yourself. We also have the honeybee. The bee is a hard worker. So spirit is like saying, you got to work hard. You got to work hard in your life now. Put the focus on yourself and do that work. And dragonfly, which is about transformation, coming out of old energy into brand new energy. And um, protect yourself. Give yourself this time. Work hard for yourself. Okay. And June is going to be really a place of seeing like this is this was your launching pad into your greatest self. Okay, so much love Scorpio and sending you so much love you to like a reading. Uh, take a look down below to book me. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'm sending you love. Bye.